recently, I was thinking about the genesis of my pretty much lifelong infatuation, love affair with science fiction. And I was thinking back to my early days as a kid in the 70s and the 80s, growing up in Poland in Warsaw. And I thought about, was it a um, book that I read? Was it a TV show for kids that I watched? Or was it a comic book? Was it a movie? Uh, and certainly watching Star Wars was a huge influence on An me. adventure unlike anything on your planet. I remember walking out of the movie theater just feeling as if my life has changed. My world has been altered. There's nothing for me here now. now Poland back then seemed a little bit gray um, and monotone uh, and limiting in many ways. But the movie Star Wars opened up my mind to the possibilities. I saw the future. I saw the whole galaxy. And it was amazing, incredible. So that movie definitely had a huge influence. But it wasn't the first thing uh, that brought science fiction to my mind. The first thing was Titus Romek i Atomek, uh, comic books written by Papcio Chmiel. Papcio Chmielewski is the name of the author. And these are amazing comic books. They are the comic books that have lasted with many generations of Poles as they're the longest running series of comic books. To my understanding, they started in 1957 and these did not really end until 2021 when the author died. Uh, the stories uh, are incredible. They're fun. Reading them as a kid, I did not even realize that this was science fiction. I remember having to hunt for these as a kid back then in Poland. It wasn't as easy as just going to a bookstore and buying the comic book. Even if you had money to do so, you had to search. You had to go on a hunt from different places, newsstands, bookstores, uh, hoping that maybe they'll have a copy that you could buy. And that part actually was, I guess, enjoyable. There is something exciting about having to work a little bit harder for something. But these stories featured Titus. Titus is uh, the chimp that you see on the cover here. And Titus, what's amazing about him is the fact that he has the ability to speak human language. He's got the ability to speak Polish, in fact, which was amazing because that was the only language I spoke. So I'm glad that Titus spoke Polish as well. And he's got two of his sidekicks, Romek and Atomek. Uh, they happen to be Boy Scouts, and the three of them go on some incredible adventures. The idea is Titus wants to become civilized. He wants to become human, and these adventures are incredible. Uh, they travel in spaceships. They go to places both real and totally unbelievable. The imagination uh, that is featured in these books is really unique. There is a heavy a didactic element, overtone, educational overtone to all these books, uh, but it's well covered by the adventure, by the fun, by the jokes. Uh, it's, it's just, it's so cute. Uh, so while you're learning as a kid, you're also having a blast. And that's why these books really appeal not just to kids. Adults were reading them just as much, and I still enjoy reading them now. Approaching 50, pushing 50. So um, yeah, these are incredible. Uh, the adventures, the spaceships that they use, they're so much fun. Like this one here, the, uh, the ship is a whistle, essentially. Uh, Professor T. Allen, Talent, was the one who was inventing these, these all kinds of incredible uh, ships that would take them underground in this case. Our adventures were so much fun because there was no limit to the imagination. Uh, in some of the comic books, things are kind of... Uh, more realistic but most of them were outrageous most of them were incredible like in this one uh, titus jumps into a western movie and the story takes over there uh, just in others they're flying around in a bathtub visiting england it's just so much fun and these books were written at a time or at least a good portion of them when portland was behind the iron curtain so censorship was obviously still a thing and and the author couldn't say anything that he wanted so there are some overtones some disparagement maybe of capitalism early on but it's pretty light i think there are some subversive elements actually in these books that uh, that were snuck, snuck in and then of course as the as time went on and poland became free uh, in the early 90s uh, you can see more subversive i like here uh, titus is uh, uh, painting some graffiti so these books really were incredible because of the imagination. I wish they were translated into English because I think most people would really enjoy them. I don't know if the humor necessarily would 
translate in every situation, but the wild adventures, the time travel and some of the, the, I mean, there's just, everything is here and it's done in such a, such a wonderful way uh, that you're both uh, feel like at the end of the book, like you've learned something and you had a blast. So yeah, uh, maybe I'll do a, a separate video where I kind of dive into one of these books and, and translate it for you. And uh, as I'm showing you the, the comic books, let me know if that's something that would interest you personally. Let me know also what was the first thing that sparked that love of science fiction for you or love of reading perhaps other genres as well. Uh, it's always interesting to think back why people love horrors. I just finished Holly uh, this morning uh, by Stephen King. It's not really a horror, but it's a good book. I really enjoyed that one. I'll do maybe a separate review on Holly. So yeah, Titus Romek i Atomek, fabulous comic book that probably in a fairly major way changed uh, the way I perceive things and infused me with the love of science fiction. Thanks for watching.